the most envied actresses. She shot to fame nearly a quarter of a century ago opposite Tom Cruise in Top Gun. Since then, she's gone on to star alongside Harrison Ford, Viggo Mortensen and Jodie Foster. Did he seem so remarkable that you immediately said to yourselves, of course, this man would notice things other people wouldn't. Do you believe that Kenneth Joyce saw something those three men didn't see? We're all very happy that you're going to live, John Book. We didn't know what we were going to do with you if you died. I don't date students. It takes a lot more than just fancy flying. Please welcome Kelly McGillis. It's a great treat for us when the likes of you come over and very bravely go on the boards, none of the sort of hiding behind a camera, but straight onto the stage, Frankie and Johnny in the Claire de Lune at Malvern and then touring, so everybody gets to see it. Is it as daunting for you as it would appear to be to us? Um, you know, the only thing that's really daunting about it is the fact that we only have three weeks rehearsal and it's a two-person play, so it's a lot of work in a very short time. Um, I'm hoping by pool I know all my lines, and if I don't, <laughs> well, then, oh well. <laughs> so you're in Malvern at the moment, so you're rehearsing in Malvern, and yeah. you go to Malvern at some point in the tour, I think. Do you yes, I think we go the third week yeah. to Malvern. We go back. They're completely different, because people know you from things like Witness and Top Gun, where, of course, the technique there when you're doing a film is you learn a bit of script quite quickly, then do it, junk it, learn another bit and do another bit. Here, it's the whole play in your head. Is it a completely different learning process? Uh, sometimes. I, I know that during uh, The Accused, I had all those summation speeches which I had to work on for the whole length of the movie because it was a little bit like doing a play. We did it all in one take. Ooh. And... Um, but yeah, I obviously but have better to work in a, way a little bit you harder that, at my you get a, But you get a run at it then, don't you, at least? It's not quite, it must be easier in that you can get more into the role if you're given a decent run at the script rather yeah. than bitty. Yeah, and you can also colour it and shade it and play with it and change things. Um, I think the more you know it, the more fun you can have with it. You're the envy, of course, of most women in that you work with the likes of Harrison Ford and Tom Cruise, you know, which can't be bad. I mean, is, is, it, is it just work, really, or is it fun? <laughs> Go on, be honest. <laughs> Just work. <laughs> <laughs> I was, well, first off, when I worked with Harrison, I was just out of drama school and I was incredibly intimidated. I was working with Indiana Jones and I was terrified of him. I never spoke a word to him. I was so scared. <laughs> um, he was very nice, but I was just terrified of him. And Tom, um, yeah, I just, you know, I mean, these were big movie stars and I was just a kid out of drama school. I didn't know anything. Yeah, the interesting thing with Tom Cruise, of course, that you actually, in the film, had the upper hand. You know, you were the kind of, don't you think you're going to... So that must have been quite fun, giving you a bit of confidence when you could actually say to Tom Cruise, now look here, Sonny. Well, it's only because I'm older than he is. <laughs> <laughs> but is it, is it as pleasurable as people would imagine playing roles like that with actors, well, you know, very good actors like that? I mean, do they raise your own game? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Really terrified. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's really great when you work with people who have more experience than you mm -hmm. in your, any given thing, because I learn from them. So what makes you want to come to Britain and, and do a two-hander? You know, putting yourself through what you written and needn't necessarily um, put yourself through. I think that because I was asked and I liked the play, I think that uh, because I'm terrified to do the play, I, honestly, I have to uh, take off my clothes and at 52, I'm not really... Uh, very happy about that, but I also get the opportunity to work on absolute self-acceptance of I am where I am and it's okay. Um, and I really love what the play has to talk about, about two people who are really broken and damaged, uh, trying to find their way into a relationship with one another. Mm. Does the fact that it was turned into a movie um, with, uh, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer... I don't want to know. Don't, don't, don't talk to me <laughs> about it. I saw it a long time ago and I really hate... Yeah. Uh, tr comparing myself to other people. Yeah. Uh, in the theatre, I really work hard at not remembering and mm. not thinking about what other people have done because I, I don't read reviews about what other people have done. I don't do research do about it. Do you read it. your own? No, no, never. 
Never. I, what other people think is none of my business. I have to go out there and do it to the best of my ability every single night. And if one person hates it, I, I, that would just, you yeah. know, that would just screw me up for the entire run. Yeah. So you still love the doing of it. That still drives you along. You're still driven to do it. Oh, gosh, I love acting. I think it's the most terrific job in the world. You know, I get to go out and play. Yeah. And I get to go out and pretend every single night. What a great thing to do. Do you know? I just think I get to be paid to be a little kid. How nice to hear an actress, honest and admit it. Thank you very much indeed. We look forward to seeing Frankie and Johnny and Claire de Lune all over the UK. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly McGillis. Yeah.